Hello, as you know, I'm Kainton the Tech Pro. Today we are going to be talking about the compilation process. Actually, this course is for people who want to understand how the compiler works. Uh, it may be for computer science students, for computer engineering students, for anybody in the field of IT that would like to understand how the, the, the compiler works. So it's actually a course on the uh, compiler construction or compiler design. I remember when I was in school I took this course, uh, this compiler construction course and I actually did uh, this topic, the compilation process, but now it became a little clearer and I think I'll share it with my friends by making this clear explanation for everybody to understand. So uh, give me a second and then I'll be back and then we start with discussing the first uh, stage of the compilation the compilation process all right the first thing I want to let you know is that a compiler just I like, just as I mentioned in my previous course converts a high-level program a program written in high-level language to a low-level language so you have something like uh, uh, something like let's say you declare a variable uh, integer x okay equals 24 uh, close it how then do you convert it from a high level this high level language to strings of zeros and one so what happens in between this place and this place and that is what we are going to discuss now and that is the compilation process the compilation process so there are six stages in the compilation process that we are going to discuss now and let's take the, the first stage yes that is called lexical analysis as I'm discussing the stages of the compilation process, I think I'll also be drawing the, the, the structure of the, of, the, of the compiler or the processes. So we have the first one is lexical analysis. Lexical analysis is also called scanning. What happens in lexical analysis? Let's still take our case study of a program like uh, int x is equal to 24.2. So what the compiler will do in lexical analysis is that it's going to scan the input code. It's going to scan the input code character by character, okay? Uh, it's also called scanning. So what it's going to do is it will separate the input program into tokens, into this uh, discrete elements called tokens. And then it will fill these tokens into the symbol table. So it means that the input to lexical analysis is a high level program and the output will be streams of tokens. So if a lexical analysis, uh, the lexical analysis stage uh, is going to scan this, the output is going to be something like this. You have this uh, symbol table and you have uh, you have uh, int x equals 24.2 right so this is what is going to generate and then you have this being the symbol table all the symbols in the input code is going to be separated and a place inside appropriate uh, sections in the symbol table so we have this to be this to be variable this to be operator uh, this to be constant and this to be delimiter okay so this delimiter there is a constant there is an operator an equality operator and this is a variable and this is uh, a keyword a keyword let's leave it that way actually this is identifier 
All right, so it's going to separate this uh, impute, impute uh, line of codes into the keywords, the identifier, the operator, the constant, and the delimiter. So you're going to separate them into discrete tokens that it understands. It doesn't care what, uh, whether they make sense, but it's going to separate them. So the next phase uh, we are going to discuss is the syntax analysis. The syntax analysis follows from the lexical analysis. Okay, so the phase of the compiler is a uh, syntax analysis. So what happens here is that the, 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 the syntax analyzer checks the input program to make sure that it corresponds or it harmonizes with the syntax of the language. So syntax errors are detected in the syntax analysis phase. So what it means is that if you have an incorrect, uh, incorrectly written program like int equal to x 24.2 the syntax analysis uh, phase or the syntax analyzer is going to detect this error because it's going to read this identifier and this is a uh, operator, this is variable and then it will detect an error. So syntax analysis detects syntax errors and make sure that the input program corresponds to the syntax of the language. If it doesn't, it reports an error. The output of the syntax analysis phase is, is a pass tree. Is a pass tree. Okay. The next phase following the syntax analysis is uh, the semantic analysis phase. Anytime you hear semantic analysis, think of uh, type checking. So the semantic analysis, it checks whether the, the, the variables that have been defined are assigned the proper type. So what it means is that if you have int x, sorry int x and then you have x is equal to uh, at this point the semantic analyzer is going to detect this as an error uh, this is very very correct when it, it, it comes to lexical analysis syntax analysis both the, the semantic analysis is going to uh, check uh, the type declared for x and check the variable assigned to x and it will report an error if that is violated. So anytime you hear of semantic analysis, think of type checking. The output of the semantic analysis is the abstract, abstract syntax tree. So that is the output of the, 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 the semantic analysis phase. Uh, we've discussed the three first phase, and these three first phase are called, uh, are referred to as uh, the analysis phase. The next three phase is going to be the, the, the analysis and then synthesis. So for now, the first three phase, we are analyzing the input program to make sure that it corresponds uh, to the right way a program is to be written in that particular language. So when it comes to the fourth phase now, what we have is the, uh, let me make it bigger, we have the, the intermediate code generation. Remember what we said before that a compiler converts a high level language to a low level language or the machine code but in between this high level language like the ones we've, been uh, we've written here 
and the low level language uh, which is a machine code of ones and zeros there is a, a an intermediate code there is a, a code there is a, a a code that is generated that is in between these two for instance we have something like a, like a, a three uh, Okay, uh, I can give an example, but this intermediate code normally is used to handle the registers, uh, assign assignment of the registers or register allocation. It's necessary because at this point, the intermediate code can be used to generate codes for different machines. Machine 1, machine 2, and machine 3. So it's normally used for portability across uh, all platforms. Something beyond here going to the machine code will now be restricted to particular machines. So intermediate code applies to a whole lot of uh, machines or platforms. So the intermediate code simply gives an output intermediate representation, IR. Intermediate uh, representation. After the intermediate code, we now have code optimization. Uh, you can watch my other video where I discuss code optimization uh, techniques in compiler construction. So here your code is optimized. The code is optimized. So a code being optimized makes it better, makes it uh, fit into uh, uh, the right amount of memory, it makes sure you are not wasting the variables or wasting the register. For instance, if you have a code like x is equal to 2 plus 2, well, this is not optimized. So we may have something like x is equal to 4. So this is what is going to be generated or this is what is going to be used instead of this. So intermediate code uh, generation generates intermediate code code optimization optimizes the code code optimization techniques include uh, constant propagation constant folding dead code elimination and so on i discussed all of this in my other video you can uh, look at the description box to the link to the code optimization techniques video so let's now go to the last one of course the the output of this is the optimized optimize code okay so the last one we are going to discuss now is the is the machine code machine code generation so the, this is the last phase that actually generates the strings of ones and zeros that actually will run on the machine. Okay, so these are basically the six stages or the six processes uh, that, that takes place in the compiler. So the, the next three, this three is called the analysis and then we have the synthesis. So I want to make it as easy as possible. If you want, you can rewind and try to make sure you understand. Uh, output from here is the machine code. Is the machine code. All right, so these are the six uh, phases of the compilation process. I hope this has been clear. I hope it's been informative for you. If so, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, like my video if you feel I've not explained clearly yeah, leave a comment there tell me what you want me to do tell me the area is not clear uh, I'm sure to get back to you I'm even sure to make more explanation based on the comments I see there I'd like to thank you very much for viewing I remain kind on the tech pro and check out next time for my next presentation